day. So today my plan was clean up my shed, put away tools and that, so I can sort out the wiring loom on the 535. But well, that changed very quickly. So I thought one cleaning out my shed, got virtually most of it done. I thought I'll just rip off these front shocks off the van. The front shock absorbers. So I thought, yeah, I ripped these off because I've ordered new, because I've ordered a new clutch kit as well, new front shock absorbers and oil for the van. Can wait for them to turn up. So I thought I'll rip them off, only take me a couple of minutes, take them off so it's ready just to fit all the new stuff back on. Yeah. So whoever's done this before made a right fucking pig's ear of it. So their pig's ear is now going to cost me hours of work to try and correct it. So let me switch around and show you. So to undo it, you undo that top bolt there, 18 mil. That comes out the top here. The bottom you need a 21. It looks like a star socket. You either have the 50p ones or a load of like a star one. Well, not even a star. Anyway, so you unbolt that. This comes out, and it's supposed to have a bar on the end. It's supposed to be a bar that comes all the way through there, what's on that shock absorber, and goes into here. But whoever's done it, decided last time they did it, they couldn't get it out, so they chopped it off. And when they put the new one on, they chopped it off there, and just bolted on. As you can see there, I just chopped it off. That's just grease there. You can tell it's not even chopped off level neither. So yeah, I've got to try and get that out of there. Show you the other side. So why I went and brought new shocks is because of this. See this. It's supposed to be inside that. That's complete bushing and that slides in there into here. But these get stuck in and these bushes go on the end here. So because they can't get out the other side they just chopped it off level and on the new one chopped it off level and just bolted it on. Fucking some dodgy fuckers around I'm telling you. Anyway, to get these off is, you're going to need some heat. I'm just using one of these. I'm going to heat up this. The set of more grips. Then just get more grips on and just keep wiggling it till it comes out. The other side, I have to try and drill out if I've got a big enough drill bit. And try and just get it out somewhere. So yeah, five minute jump is turned into a few hours jump. What a pain in the ass this is gonna be. That's this side on it. I've just heated it up as much as I can, get it in it with penetrating oil. That sits in there like that. Just used a lump hammer, tapping it side to side, up and down. Just kept doing that to try and free it off. Set them all grips and keep trying to turn it and all of a sudden it will start turning slightly and then just wiggle it out that's what you're going to do so yeah that's how the job's supposed to be done not cut the fucker off inside because you can't get it off so now see this it's took me what 15 minutes to get this out so the new one will slide in there what I'll do I'll clean it up inside grease it up slide the one in fold it up Pull it at the top, while well, I've been bang new shocking. Now for the other side. Fuck knows how I'm gonna get this one out. Finally, after a lot of drilling, whoa, a lot of drilling, and a lot of little chisels, and a lot of damaged screwdrivers, we're getting there. This has took me about an hour and a half. Gonna try and not to 
damage it, the thread behind it. But yeah, as you can see there, it is coming. I end up having to chisel. There we go, it's that. And I have to chisel down one side. Or drill so far through, all the way down, and chisel across, and keep doing it all the way round, just till I got uh, so it will come out. So yeah, I'll clean that up now. Then be ready to fit the new one. So like I say, some dodgy ass mechanic out there has done that. Can't believe that it's done anyway. I see it's took me a couple of hours to do both sides to get them out. So yeah, at least that's that done. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today. Hope this has helped people out. They're normally pretty easy to take off. Just unbolt top, unbolt bottom, wiggle it and they just pop out. But they do seize up at the bottom. And if they do and they get stuck in like that, don't cut them off. Get some heat on them, get a set of mold rips, just keep tapping them with an hammer and it will wiggle out. Trust me, I've never had one not wiggle out and I've never had to cut one before. So, yeah, that's just some mechanic, couldn't be bothered, just wanted the job, probably coming to the end of the day and just wanted it out of the way. So they just chopped it both sides, just bolted it back on. The customer will never know until the next person comes along to change them. A pain in the ass that was. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Catch you next time. Stay safe.